The main difference between SanDisk Ultra and SanDisk Extreme memory cards is how they record video. More specifically, SanDisk Ultra is only suitable for 1080p HD video recording, while SanDisk Extreme can record 4K slash UHD video at a constant speed. This means that if you shoot video at 4K, you will need to buy SanDisk Extreme cards, ideally more than one, since they can only hold between 16 to 156 GB. As for photos, if you own a high megapixel camera or often shoot continuous bursts, you may benefit from the faster write speeds of the SanDisk Extreme. However, there are a few other things you need to understand when comparing these two popular memory cards. This guide will help you decide which one is right for you. Here are the most important specs of each memory card so you can choose which is best for you. Read or Write Speeds A SanDisk Ultra card has a max write speed of 80 MB S, while the SanDisk Extreme cards reach up to 90 MB S. This refers to how fast a photo or video is saved to your memory card. So, the SanDisk Extreme will have shorter buffering times. The read speed of the SanDisk Extreme is up to 160 MB S. Us class, bus speed. The us class is related to bus speed and the bus interface. In combination, they determine what the minimum write speed and the theoretical maximum transfer speed are. The us speed class is marked with a U followed by the class, which can be one or three. U1 has a minimum write speed of 10 MB S, and U3 has a minimum write speed of 30 MB S. The us bus interface is indicated with a Roman numeral, either I or Roman 2. The UZI has a theoretical transfer speed maximum of 104 MB/s, and the UZ-Roman 2 has a theoretical maximum of 312 MB/s. There's no difference between SanDisk Ultra VS Extreme regarding the UZ bus interface because they are both UZI, but the UZ speed class may be different. The SanDisk Ultra SD cards are all UM, while SanDisk Extreme cards are all free. Speed class? The speed class of a memory card is relevant for two reasons. The first one is because it indicates the minimum write speed of the card. The second one is compatibility. Specific devices are only compatible with certain speed class cards. Speed class is denoted by a circular C followed by a number that indicates the rating. Comparing the SanDisk Ultra VS Extreme, there's no advantage to the latter because they are both speed class C10. This is the industry standard as it's the highest it goes, and it means that the minimum write speed is 10 MB slash S. Video speed class. This refers to the sequential write speed, and it determines the video resolution that you can record in. It's noted with a V followed by the number of the class. The lowest one is V6, and the highest one is V90. However, UZI cards only support up until V30. SanDisk Extreme is V30 which means that it has a sequential write speed of 30 MB S. This is enough to record 4K videos. SanDisk Ultra cards don't have a video speed class, so you should be able to record full HD 1008 app videos because this speed class allows for a write speed of 10 MB S. Storage Capacity The storage capacity refers to the amount of data you can save on your memory card. Both the SanDisk Ultra and the SanDisk Extreme are available with different storage capacities, depending on the type of memory card. SanDisk Ultra has the advantage on microSD cards because the storage capacity range is wider. You can buy a SanDisk Ultra microSD card with an SD adapter from 16GB up to 1TB. The SanDisk Extreme microSD instead is only available from 64GB up to 256GB. When it comes to SD cards, the SanDisk Ultra also has more choices. In the SanDisk Ultra line, you have two options. The Ultra SDHC slash SDXC which is available from 64GB up to 256GB and the Ultra SDHC SI and SDXC SI cards, available from 16GB up to 512GB. On the other hand, the SanDisk Extreme SD cards are available from 32GB up to 256GB. Finally, compact flash cards are only available in SanDisk Extreme and the available storage capacities are 32GB. 64 GB, and 128 GB. Storage Format SanDisk cards can be SD, SD High Capacity, and SD Extended Capacity. SD cards come with the default format of F816, and they are compatible with all devices that support SD, SDHC, and SDXC. SDHC cards have a default format of F8T32. 
They are not compatible with devices that only accept an SD card format. Keep in mind that most devices built after 2008 are compatible with SDHC. SDXC cards are formatted in XFAT, and they are only compatible with devices that support SDXC cards. This should apply to any device built after 2010, but look for the SDXC inscription to make sure. Both SanDisk Ultra and Extreme cards can be SDHC or SDXC according to their storage capacity. These are compatible with most photo files. The difference between FAT32 and XFAT is that FAT32 limits your file sizes to 4 GB, and it can be slower. Durability Both the SanDisk Extreme and Ultra cards are tested the same and should hold up to the same quality standards. As per SanDisk statement, their cards are capable of withstanding up to 72 HRS in one salt or fresh water, withstanding temperatures from 13 to 185 deg F means 25 to 85 deg C, withstanding up to 500 GS of shock, withstanding drops up to 5 meters and being run over by a delivery truck, immunity to airport x-rays, immunity to magnetic field damage. Cus Comparing the price of a SanDisk Ultra VS Extreme card, the most affordable choice is the SanDisk Ultra. This is because of the higher capacity you get for your spend. If you don't have a need for high resolution and high speeds, a SanDisk Extreme SD card is probably overkill, and you can save some money by getting a SanDisk Ultra SD card. Of course, if your camera uses compact flashcards then you'll have to get a SanDisk Extreme card or a SanDisk Extreme Pro. Thank you for watching. I hope this video helped you to have a better understanding of which SanDisk SD card is best for you. If you have any doubts or comments, please leave them below.